Okay. So, right. so this is Gedano Kamai. So Gedano Kamai puts the ball behind you, like this, mm -hmm. right? And it opens up the front this way. So if he comes into this space and I shift like this, I want to shut down the strike, number mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. I want to prevent him from striking me. So as I'm stepping offline this way, I'm coming into this space, I'm striking into his bow and skipping off of that into his uh, into his his chest or his lower abdomen, something like that. So the, the best way to sort of approach this is to come in and like really just strike the, the bow this way. Right. And then from here, like slide straight into the hip, boom, like this. Okay. <laughs> <Right. laughs> So I'm coming offline, boop, and it's a strike into the bow, like this. So I'm coming offline this way, this is a 45. Off this way, I'm drawing back this front leg, and then firing this off and stepping forward with this. So I'm, the sequencing there is a little bit different. Because if I go like this, if I go one, and then I go right, if I go like this, if I step forward and strike, I'm too close. Mm -hmm. I'm too. So with this, I come off this way and then boom, just straight, straight it, and now I'm lined up for this stabbing movement. Yeah. yeah. So the set follows the strike. Mm -hmm. So strike first. So this isn't just a, a strike into the bow. This is like a skipping hit where you go one, two, like that. So you're skipping off of the you're skipping off like this. You're going boom like that. <laughs> Whack into, into that space. Okay? Which is that's why this is quite difficult. Right. And see how I'm below? Like this? If I come up like this, I'm gonna come all the way up into that space and open that take that. Right. So then you can see how like can manifest in a different way. One, two, like that. And here you can get into the throat or something like that. That would be, boom, it would kill me, probably. Mm. Yeah, that's a question I answered there. Be careful with the skip. Because you're allowing the bow, you're allowing the bow to do this. Put your bow up. Just put your bow up. You're allowing the bow to go like this. You see the, so I'm not going like this. I'm going, I'm allowing the natural rebound, the energy of the bow to guide it to its next target. Very dangerous. All right, well, we have to sort of approach this a little practically. So you, you come in and then you're attacking with this. So you're, you're not coming, you're coming with a straight cut? Yeah, ten, or like a tento uchi. Tento uchi, okay. So you come in with this or tento uchi. Tento uchi. Yeah, this is tento uchi, right? That's tento uchi. This is, yeah, tento uchi, this is tento Oh, hi, I forgot. Yeah, so tento uchi. Those, those. Yeah, 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 sorry, anyway, sorry. So this comes in, right. So what I, I don't want to get, you know, blasted, right? So there's, there's, there's practical ways to, to, to do this, right? You kind of better, oh, better, more interesting way to do this. What you did was this. You did this. This is, uh, this is uh, unusual, we'll say. It's not wrong, but it's unusual, right? And the reason it's unusual is because this is not as forceful because of the way that I'm, I'm using this. Kind of like we do this, so you get a little bit more juice into it. So you can try this. So I'm stepping off this, but not this late. I'm stepping about here. I'm sorry, I was that, moving slowly because yeah, I'm trying to. Getting that, that, you know, like this. So what you, the problem here is if we move and you want to hit and then you want to follow up with this, this is difficult. Okay. And it's difficult because this is a difficult
difficult job. This is difficult. This thing. If we did it this way, if we go like this, I, like I can follow up rather quickly with that, especially if we get online or whatever. So we go like this, right? And we get that in there, boom, we can really kind of get that going. But if we go this way, like this, I can maybe come in with this, which is a little bit more practical. Okay. And so you can kind of start to look at it like that. We go one, two, like this, boom, like that, and then back, <laughs> like this. So one, two, three. So if you look at that and you kind of approach that practically, because there may be a moment where it's like you're in this and you see this and you're like, like this, bam, like you just want to, you know, like that's it. Because I don't know what this guy wants or he's trying to brain me and I'm in the anti-brain club, right? I'm in the anti-braining club, which means I like brain you instead. I like where my brain stays. Yeah, yeah so. my brain stays here. <laughs> Doesn't wind up over there. Anyway, give that a go. The, the movement here isn't just top. It's actually, this is a difficult strike. I just give me a target, right? So, and so the reason, so as you're, you, you, you move this way, you're opening this up. You want to open this up. But I don't want to just do, I don't want to go like this and wind up over here. And so I'm throwing my shoulder up and then he kills me or whatever. So I need to do this in a way so that I have some access here to, to continue with this, with whatever this is, which means that if he's coming in, and this is now a moving target, it's like, oh, like I need to, to get in the middle of that, right? So what this, I think, becomes more um, sensibly is not like, you know, a big, a big hit, right? And then, because now we're sort of both 50-50. <coughs> you see what I mean? You're doing this, I'm doing this, and now we both at the same time go for this next thing, whatever this is. You see what I mean? <laughs> that means the timing's off. And if your timing is off, it's <coughs> find yourself in the brain club again. It's no good. Yeah. Good drink. <coughs> Ryan. So my point is. My point is, this isn't going to work. That's not going to work. Because I have to recover, and the moment that I recover, you recover, and then that's it. Right. So what are you left with then? So these are kind of fast and furious, right? So just walk, just straight in.
same thing with this. This is why this is tricky. Because if you come in, like it's already there or whatever. But if I'm coming in this way, right, this is already on this, it's already on this side of the right. <laughs> of this. So all I have to do is get my body out of the way. Right. Because he comes in, right. <laughs> there it is, boom. And I've got a clear, <laughs> you know, torpedo into his his jowls, right? All right. Give it a go. Uh, so we're seeing like these different ways of sort of doing this. So you want know, one like this, and now when he comes against, ah, boom! Like you can get this kind of big movement, right? And one, two, like this. So this is a big, it's a big movement, and you open this up, and now when he comes, boom! Like this. This is a big. <laughs> okay? You did that. So if he comes with that second movement, one, yes. Hi. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no doubt. Kicks, zip. Now you can get hold of this way. And then 
and drop them down into that space. And this is important too. If you are going to drop somebody and you have their leg forward, see how on this 45, he's pretty stable mm -hmm. right here. If I change it to the oh, body, there it is. <laughs> yeah, it's 45. Uh -huh. Don't fall. Right. Yeah. Yep. Because I'm creating a triangle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I go like this, no, that's a very different triangle. It is. It's the opening. It's a bad triangle. That's a bad triangle. It's like it's like <laughs> a stool with two, then one over there. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm trying to slide. I'm trying to slide. But I'm trying to get one card. Because like I'm not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was that time. Because you're dragging them out. Hold on. That's me getting punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> hey. So, one, two, this way. Right? So he's going, he's going this way and over to this way, right? So he's coming over like this. Passing, which is that's fine, right? Outside this way to get this one, and I like that. I think you have to like, kind of emphasize this, especially if this is a big hit, like a big swinging hit, like a haymaker. Boom! It's not straight, but like, like wham. <laughs> and that's the issue with this: is that you'll hit, you'll get hit with this haymaker. But if you, you know, do it this way. <laughs> Right? And then you take this, right. you come into this space this way, and then you, you come in this way. You have to double up on that second arm. Mm. Right? Mm. So one, two, this way. And you got to double up on this. <laughs> right? And then this will come in <laughs> this way. So if you shift with this, this might be a little bit better. In other words, when this comes in, one, two, this way, and then double up on this, and then you shift. <laughs> so instead of throw like this, shift into it. And then they shift into it like this. Mm. Ah. Okay. Oh. Hey. One, two, this way, and then, you know, <laughs> this way. And now, shift into this way. Create this uh, this thing here, but if you want to get the uh, torque, torque, what do you say? Mm -hmm. One, two, this way, right? Take the zip, this way. If you want the torque to work for you, I need his body to work against it. Mm -hmm. So this might, I might be able to shift and get his body to. Uh, deck in, but this won't break. It might get a little twisted or whatever, but it might not break. Mm -hmm. If you want it to break, it needs to push against something solid. Okay? If you need it to break. And so how you get it to break is this is one, two, this way. Oh, here we go. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Because now there's, it's pressing against itself. It's got no tension. Yeah, it's not right. Let's this Yeah. So from here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe his elbow. Best way to break a wrist, I don't think it's this way. I think it's sheer. Mm -hmm. And that's best done against the ground. You shear somebody against the ground like that, you're going to be in a bad way. <laughs>